fresh from your feed, here's the hottest info you need to know to win your week. So we asked you guys last week, who would you rather see in your lunchbox? Fruit snacks or pudding cups? And the majority of you guys said... Fruit snacks! So did your choice win? Let us know in the comments below. Prepping your back to school style? Consider cargo pants. I like the, the pockets, it's very uh, handy. handy and uh, practical, yeah. but... I like a pragmatic fashion choice. Since slacks are the slackers of the pants universe, check out the top five things you can carry in your cargo pants. Bubbles, for that after-school bubble blowing fun. Your favorite pet. Or your favorite pet, Rock. Hey, SpongeBob, check out my new snail. Pencils can go in your cargo pants. We found a magic pencil. Hey, you are back to school. And the number one thing you can carry in your cargo pants, sandwiches, just like Dickie Harper. And here's tomorrow's French dip. <laughs> Not ready to retire from the attire debate? Keep visiting Nick's YouTube channel because we're posting the top school fashion moments August 21st. You won't want to start school without seeing it. Yeah, okay. Nobody knows how to celebrate August 19th better than Jojo Siwa because it's International Bow Day. I love your bow. I love your bow more. And speaking of bobos, Hey, Bobo, what's up? Did you catch the I Am Frankie special? It was awesome, but we bet you've never seen her like this. Hey guys, it's Alex Hook from I Am Frankie here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival in Washington, D.C. I'm here with my new robot friend, Now. Isn't he just adorable? I am a big fan of yours. Aw, thanks, Now. I'm a big fan of yours, too. <laughs> right now, I'm on a Mars simulator. Hey, look at those! They're like little robot puppies. Shocking. <laughs> Would you rather have a robot to be your BFF? Or finish your homework? Comment with your pick below, and we'll let you know if you'll pick one next week. Who's your favorite sponge? That's me! Usually that's true, but when it's National Sponge Cake Day on August 20th, the answer just might be this one. Or this one. Yum. I want to eat that one. Or prank your friends with this one. Top a kitchen sponge with frosting and sprinkles. Cake! Cake! It's a piece of cake. Pass the sponge cake, please. Here is your comment of the week. Sweet Sprinkles was sprinkling on the love when they commented, Nickelodeon, I really like your shows. They're really funny, and my favorite part of Win Your Week is the six-second joke. I just love Nickelodeon. It's beautiful. Well, since you love the six-second joke, Sweet Sprinkles, here's a six-second joke you can tell your friends. Hey, everyone. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. <laughs> you know what makes smiling even more funny? No tea. Celebrate National Tooth Fairy Day on August 22nd with the top five toothless moments from your favorite shows. Looks like I've got a 710 split. <laughs> oh, stop eating me! Oh, I... What's wrong? I chipped a tooth on that guy's head! Oops, that there was another tooth. Yeehaw! That means it got the most slipped. I'm ready, Doc. Do what you have to do. I'm done. Thanks for loving me and my weird tooth, Max. Anything for you, pop star wife Cheyenne? Welcome home. Think the Tooth Fairy ever makes change for a 20? Ever thought about visiting the gorgeous country of Nepal? Are you brave enough to take a trip up Mount Everest? If you're feeling up to the challenge, you should at least know how to speak some Nepali. Here's how you say fart. Um. Oh, and don't look down. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check back next Sunday for a brand new Win Your Week. And don't forget to comment below the video. Your comments could be featured in our next episode. Be sure to check your notifications this week to see if you get picked.